Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Fighting Money Laundering with Statistics and Mission Learning. Officials from United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime Project that money laundering comprises of 2.14% of the global economy. Enabling the criminals to elude the justice and eroding the public confidence and the financial systems. Both the intergovernmental body and the private entities recognize the potential of modern statistical and the machine learning techniques to revolutionize the anti money laundering effort. These innovations offer the promise of uncovering the novel money laundering method and optimizing the allocation of AML resources. Despite this potential, the scientific discourse on the statistical and the machine learning techniques for the AML remains limited and the fragmented. The Financial Action Task Force provides the foundation for the international AML practice. In response, we introduce a coherent lexicon centered around the two key concepts, client risk profiling and the identification of suspicious behavior, fostering the clarity and the coherence in the discourse surrounding AML strategy. And this work serves as an introductory exploration and the comprehensive survey of the existing body of the literature concerning the statistical and the machine learning techniques employed in the banks for anti-money laundering purpose. Within this contest, we propose a cohesive and encompassing terminology built around two pivotal aspects, client risk profiling and identification of suspicious activities. It entails a diagnostic approach striving to unearth and elucidate the underlying risk determinants while the process of identifying the suspicious behavior hinges on the undisclosed features and meticulously crafted risk metrics. Beyond the review, we shine the light on the prospective research direction, emphasizing the importance of augmenting the available public data, generating the synthetic data, embracing the semantic supervised and the deep learning paradigm, ensuring the interpretability of the outcome, and upholding the fairness in the algorithmic results. This avenue aims to fortify the foundation of anti-money laundering practice and the ever-evolving landscape of banking and the finance. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The software requirements are Python IDEL with version of 3.7, Anaconda with version of 3.7 or Jupyter Notebook. Hardware requirements are operating system as Windows, processor of minimum Intel i3, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 250 GB. And to know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the libraries. Essential libraries and modules are imported, providing the foundational tool required for the tasks such as data manipulation, processing, visualization, and the model construction. And the second one is exploring the dataset. A comprehensive analysis of the dataset is undertaken, aiming to comprehend its structure, distribution, and the potential challenge. And the third one is data processing. Data processing techniques are applied to clean, normalize, and transform the data set, ensuring it in the optimal state for the subsequent analysis and the modeling. And the next one is visualization using Seaburn and the Matplotlib. These libraries are employed to create the visual representation of the data set, offering the insight into the data distribution pattern and the potential correlation. And the next one is label processing the labels for the target variables are processed to ensure the compatibility with the chosen machine learning algorithm this step is crucial for supervised learning tasks like classification and the next step is feature selection algorithm a feature selection algorithm is utilized to identify and retain the most relevant attribute from the data set enhancing the model efficiency and the accuracy and the next step is splitting the training and testing data the data set is divided into the separate training and the testing subset the training data is used to train the model while the testing data is reserved for evaluating the model performance and the next step is building the model here variety of machine learning algorithms are combated to command good for the money laundering and the first one is linear svc 
is employed as a foundational classification model to discern the potential instance of the money laundering, leveraging the concept of the hyperplane separation, and it accurately classifies the data point into the distinct categories, thereby aiding and identifying the suspicious financial activity. And the next one is XGBoost. XGBoost is an advanced boosting algorithm is integrated to enhance the predictive accuracy by iteratively refining the weak model. XGBoost creates a strong and simple learner capable of capturing the intricate money, laundering pattern and norms within the dataset. And the third one is logistic regression. Uh, the model likelihood of money laundering occurrences by estimating the probability and applying a threshold. This model facilitates the binary classification, assisting and distinguishing between the normal and the suspicious financial transaction. And the next one is random forest. It constructs an ensemble of the decision tree where each strand on the subset of the data and aggregate their prediction. Its ability to manage the complex data relationships and mitigate the overfitting makes its potent tool for detecting the irregular financial behavior indicative of money laundering. And the next one is decision tree. It partitions the data based on the attribute volume, creating a tree-like structure that aids in classification. Its interpretability and capability to map the decision path rendered it valuable in identifying the potential money laundering pattern. And the next one is Neobase. It's a probabilistic reasoning to classify the data assuming the attribute independence. In the context of flighting money laundering, it calculates the probability of transaction being related to the illicit activities contributing to the comprehensive ensemble approach. And the next one is Stacking Classifier. It amalgamates of random forest SVM and utilizing the logistic regression as of the meta classifier. This ensemble architecture leverages the diverse model to collectively detect the money laundering while the meta classifier refines the final prediction. And the next one is voting classifier. It combines the prediction from the random forest decision tree and the boosting model, harnessing the collective intelligence to achieve a consensus prediction. This ensemble approach enhances the overall model ability to discern the various money laundering patterns. And the next step is user gives the input. User provided data undergoes pre processing, including the feature extraction too. And here we are entering the user input by using the Flask interface as tool to detect the money laundering prediction. And the next one is the given input is pre processed per prediction. User provided data undergoes the pre processing, including the feature extraction normalization and formatting to align with the required points of the trend model. And the next one is trend model is used for the prediction. The trend model analyzes the pre-processed input to predict the likelihood of the money laundering considering the identified pattern and attributes. And the next one is the final outcome is displayed. The model's prediction outcome is exhibited to the user through the Flask interface and this output indicates the potential presence of the money laundering activity and the execution of the project. To execute the project first we need to open the code folder and this is the code folder containing of various files within it. The static folder containing of the folders like of assets, javascript, css, upload and images files within it and template folder containing of the html document. A typically include of home, index, notebook, results, sign-in, and sign-up pages within it. An app is an py file which likely contains the information related to the front-end logic. It includes the code written in Python that handles the server-side operations, such as processing the user request, interacting with the database, and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the HTML template. And the model file contains the algorithm information and loaded into the project code during the runtime to utilize the trial model for the various tasks. And the next one is of signup.db as a file appear to be the database file used to store the user information. And the notebook is an IPYNB file which contains the combination of code, graph and output all in one place. It allows the user to write and execute the code and the individual cell making it a popular choice for the data science.
and for the execution of the project first we need to copy this code folder path and then open the anaconda prompt here we need to write a command cd space and paste this code folder path by this it will change the current directory to the code folder path and then click on the enter button here we need to write a command that is python space app.py by using this command it will execute the python script and perform the runtime check for any syntax errors or the logical issues and then click on the enter button here by this the app.py file will work and the flash framework will host the application locally at the default address like this we need to copy this link and paste it on any of the web browser or powered toys and i prefer to use the google chrome i'm pasting this link and then click on the enter button here it will redirect it to this page containing of information about it in the title of the project and then click on the sign up button here it will redirect to the sign up page containing of some necessary details that are need to be filled to create an account but my account is already created that's why i'm using the sign in button here it will redirect it to the sign in page containing of username and password and those details are need to be filled and then click on the login button here it will redirect it to this page containing of some input details that are need to be filled and um, entering those details as of v2 with of minus 0.0727 and the v4 is of 1.378 and the v5 is of minus 0.338 and the v7 is of 0.23958 and the v8 of 0.09869 and v10 of 0.0907 and v13 of minus 0.9913 and the v14 of 0 minus 0.31116 and v15 of 1.468 and the v16 of minus 0.470 and the v17 of 0.2079 and the v18 of 0.0257 and the v21 of minus 0.018306 and v22 of 0.2778 and the v25 of 0.1285 and the amount is of 149.62 and then click on the predict button here i predicted the result as based on the smooth feature value the tra transaction is non fraudulent and by clicking on the home button it will redirect it to this page and here we can re enter the other details too and entering the details as of v2 1.951 and the v4 of 3.997 and the v5 of minus 0.522 and the v7 of minus 2.537 and the v8 of 1.3916 and the v10 of minus 2.7727 and the v15 of minus 0.59522 and the v14 of minus 4.2892 and the v15 of 0.3893 and the v16 of minus 1.1407 and the v17 of minus 
2.83 and V18 of minus 0.016 and V21 of 0.575172 and V22 of 0.5 minus 0.03504 and then V25 of 0.04451 and enter the amount of 0 and then click on the predict button here I predicted as the transaction is fraudulent and in conclusion our study proposes a terminology for anti-money laundering and the bank based on the client risk profiling and the suspicious behavior flagging. We find that literature on the AML and the banks is flagged by a number of problems including the class imbalance and the lack of public data set. We suggest using the multitude of different data augmentation methods to address the class imbalance and the synthetic data generation to address the lack of public data set. We also discussed the future research direction including the method for the dimension reduction, semi-supervised learning, data visualization, deep learning too. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.